Hi everyone and welcome to your morning yoga practice. This class is designed to help you stretch out, to have a fulfilled day, hopefully without any aches and pains, and allow your body to really enjoy the practice, especially in the morning. Now, if you're not practicing with me in the morning, it's totally fine, but you will notice some nice longer holds, some deep stretches to get the body awake. Grab your yoga mat and let's get started. All right, so let's start standing if that feels comfortable. And you're just gonna take your shoulders with me, just kind of roll them back a few times and just close your eyes. So as you really wake up the body and come into the space, just roll the shoulders with me. Good, and then exhale, you're gonna soften your shoulders. Let your ear come to your shoulder. So right ear, right shoulder, you can keep your eyes closed. And you're gonna roll your chin into your chest. So nice deep chin to chest stretch. And you'll feel the stretch there in the back of your neck as you do so. You can keep the eyes closed. And then exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Again, feel kind of this range of motion in the cervical spine and your neck, how you feel. Post to wake up and then bring your head up. Good, inhale your hands to your heart and just standing nice and tall, close your eyes with me. Good, as you push your feet down, lift your heart forward. I want you to notice this moment of standing strong, legs are firm, belly's engaged, heart is reaching forward. And a sense of softness in your body. Good, take three breaths standing here. Relaxing your shoulders. And then just take your hands and gently release them down. Good. Take your arms all the way up on your inhale. And we'll start with a gentle side bend. So stand up really tall here and then let your right hand reach away from your left hand. Let it glide down your leg. Push your hips over to the left and really feel the opening. So noticing on the left side the room you can get, but also focus on reaching up with me. So take your left arm higher. Good, now let your left hand slide directly down left leg, just like we did on the right side. Let your right arm reach straight up. And as you lean to the left, take your right arm higher. So again, create space, 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 reach, reach, reach. Good. Now take both arms up on your inhale, lift your gaze. Good, fold forward as you exhale, bend the knees on the way down. Halfway lift the spine. Now open up your feet wider and then we're going to grab for opposite elbows in your fold. So I want you to go ahead and grab on, let your head hang. And as you do so, your hips are going to lift up, your heart's going to fall forward. Hopefully you're going to feel the ability for the low back to soften. And then I want you to try to straighten the legs more, even though you're still folding forward. So try to get that nice, soft release in the back. Good, and then maybe move from left to right. So feel your torso kind of like a pendulum just swinging with me from side to side. There you go. Good. And then release your hands down. Lengthen halfway, welcoming the body to practice. There you go. Exhale, fold forward, release down further. Nice. Now, from here, I want you to take your time. We're going to slowly stand up again, bone by bone by bone. Good. Inhale, reach all the way up. And then exhale, fold all the way forward. Same thing we just did. Good. Flat back. Exhale, big movement, down dog. Step it back. So not a vinyasa, just a down dog. Take your time. Good. Good. Now that you're in down dog, I want you just to take a full inhale, lift your hips up and back, and a full exhale. Soften your knees, push back with your arms. Breathe, three. Good, hips high, two. And then roll to plank. Good, look forward with me. Use your knees here if you need to, okay? We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly. Ideally, slowly. 
Now, once you're on the stomach, just breathe here. Notice how the body feels. Pull the elbows in. Option one, come up like just an inch, okay? Or maybe work through straight arms. And again, listen to the body. So if it doesn't feel good, doesn't feel right, don't do it. Lower down. Good. Two more. Squeeze the elbows in. Squeeze the glutes. Rise up. Good. Exhale, lower down. Last one, okay? Squeeze the elbows in. Drive the hands down. Firm the glutes. Come up. And then let's take a yummy child's pose from here. So very safely take the hips to the heels. And then let the head come down. Good. And then I want you to extend your arms long. Feel the stretch in your underarms. Release the chest over the thighs. And take a big inhale in through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale onto your mat. Good. And then on the next breath, slowly bring the body to tabletop. Good. Now, turn your hands around. So flip one hand, then the other. And I want you to feel your forearms forward facing now, okay? Now, sink the tummy down, lift the gaze, lift the heart. So finding your variation of cow with your wrists rotated. And then tuck your chin with me. Let's go ahead and round the spine. Push up through the lower back as much as possible. Good. Let's repeat that. Inhale, cow. Stick out the booty. Lift the heart. Good. Exhale, cat. Round the spine. Drive the hands down into the ground. Good. Now, tuck your toes. Walk your hands back towards your hands. Obviously, flip them around first. <laughs> Bring your knees together. And you're going to sit back, hips on your heels. Good. Now, I want you to take your hands, reach the palms forward by interlacing the fingers. Good. And then inhale, lift the gaze, lift the heart. Three. Stretching the feet at the same time here. Two. Good. Exhale your hands down. Reach your arms forward, okay? Long stretch. Tuck your toes, head back to down dog. And I wish you could see this cuddled up puppy right below the screen. <laughs> Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One day I'll have multiple camera angles. <laughs> Good. And then on your next breath in, take your time. We're going to go to plank again. This time, chaturanga, either knees, chest, chin, or lower to your stomach, okay? Or knee down push-up. Come up to back bend or cobra. Take your time. Remember, skip what you need. And then meet me back in down dog. Good. Now, from down dog, we're going to take our body and gaze forward. And I want you to come high onto the balls of the feet as you do so. And then simply walk back up to your hands. Good. Now, once you get here, bring the feet closer together just so that your base is more narrow. Halfway lift the spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward, low back stretch here. Good. Three. Hanging heavy. Two. And then inhale, reach up as you stand. Back bend, reach the fingertips high. And then repeat the side bend from the beginning. So slide right hand down, right leg. Left arm's not only going to reach over, but also reach up. Three. Good. Press hips hard left. Two. And then come through center. Left hand slides left with me. Right arm reaches up and over. Hold for three. Good. Two. And then inhale. Return to center. Take both arms high into the air. And then exhale through heart center. We fold. Good. Let's gaze forward. Flat back. Hopefully you feel a little bit more open. And then we're going to step the left foot back, okay? We're going to start with a nice twist here. So left hand down, right arm rises. Just simply roll the ribs and reach up to the sky. Push through your back heel. Stack your shoulders with me. Try to create a little bit more room. So right arm is in the air. Right foot is forward. Good. Take another big inhale. 
right hand lowers. Left knee lowers. And then from there, sink the pelvis forward, inhale. Dynamic movement here. Stay on your back knee. Exhale, straight in the right leg, fold over your shin. Good, repeat, bend the right knee, chest forward. Exhale, straight in the right leg, pull it back. One more time, bend your right knee, move forward. Now this time, hold your straight leg, pull it back. Take both hands over to the right. Now take your right foot, plant it, and then pick it up. Two more times, plant and lift. Good, one more time, plant your foot. There you go, lift your toes, yummy hamstring stretch there. Walk your hands back to frame your foot. Good, re-bend the right knee forward, please. Now inhale, hands to thigh, option one. Maybe your hands move to your hips or your low back, option two. Maybe your arms reach up. Take a big inhale, reach and lengthen through the torso. Good, and then on your exhale, frame your right foot. Step forward, left foot meets right foot. Halfway lift from the front. Exhale as you fold, now we take the right foot, same thing, step it back. Right hand stays down below right shoulder. Left foot is forward, inhale left arm to the sky, stack your shoulders. Push through your back heel, rotate open, and then really, really use those legs here, three. Good, send your eyes up to your left thumb, two. Lovely, left hand lowers, right knee drops, keep your hands down. Okay, dynamic movement, move with me. Straighten front leg, bend front knee. Repeat, straighten. Good, bend. Straighten the leg. Good, now bend your knee forward. Exhale, we hold a straight leg this time. Walk your hands over to the left. And then you're gonna take your left foot, you're gonna plant it and then lift it. Three, two, woo, one. That should feel good if you're tight there in the Achilles and the shin, two. Hands come back to frame the foot. Good, bend your knee forward. Now, option one, hands to left thigh. Option two, hands to hips. I kind of like to come here first to set up. Really, really squeeze in with your butt, okay? That's gonna protect your ribs and your spine. Draw everything in if you're gonna bring the arms up. Take a nice back bend, three. Good, gaze up to the sky, two. Exhale, frame your foot. Step forward, right foot meets left foot. Good job. Lengthen halfway. Take a fold, and as you do, the left leg is gonna lift above hip height. So try to raise your leg as high as you can. Try to bow over your right leg, three. Good, left leg lifts higher, two. One more big stretch, step back with your left foot. Land in a lunge, inhale, bring your arms up with me. Good, inhale, take a nice back bend. And then here's our first three-legged down dog. So frame your foot. Right leg presses with me to the sky. Externally rotate the hip, but keep the leg straight. Three. Good, right toes are turned out, leg is straight. Two. Lift the thigh higher. Good, exhale, release your toes, roll to plank. Here you go, optional vinyasa, chaturanga push-up if you want it, back bend, and then exhale, down dog. Same leg, right leg lifts. Step through. Bend your right knee, use your fingertips, look forward. Now, step the left foot up halfway, pyramid. Turn the left toes out. Take your left, th excuse me, your right thumb to the crease of your right hip, pull it back. Take your left hand forward, bow down, three. Similar stretch to a standing split, but less effort, two. Good, let your right hand release if you're still on your hip, and then step your left foot up. Good job, let's go ahead and take a flat back together, lengthen. 
Exhale, grab the back of your legs, fold. Stand tall, squeeze your legs, inhale, lean back. Good, exhale, straight back down, fold. We start with standing split, lengthen. All right, right leg, ready? Kick it up. Left hand wraps around left leg if you want. Keep lifting right leg higher, push down through right hand, three. Good, fine effort here, stretch out those legs, two. Good, step back on one. Strong legs, move with me, inhale, high lunge. Good, three-legged dog, second time, left side. So hands down, left leg lifts. Externally rotate the hips. So again, keep the legs straight, turn the toes out, three. Flex the foot, pull the toes towards your shin, two. Press down through your right foot, one more inhale. Good, close the hip, feet together. Again, plank. Hold plank or chaturanga with me. Drop your knees if you want to. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you push back. Same leg, let's lift it, left. Good, step through, exhale. Inhale, fingertips, look forward. So strong, strong here in your front leg. Right foot's gonna step up and over to the right. Pyramid, take your left thumb into your left hip, pull the hip behind you. Fold forward, three. Right hand stays out, maybe the left thumb stays in the crease of the hip. Significant stretch in your front leg, decent stretch in your back leg. And then exhale your feet together, right foot meets left. Inhale, lengthen. Good, exhale again, grab the calf muscles please, fold. Stand up nice and tall, raise your arms to the sky. And this time pull them back to your heart where we started, okay? Now, from here, I want you to lift up your right knee. Good. Flex your foot. Place your left hand outside of your right thigh as I start to wobble. <laughs> Place your right hand on your sacrum on your low back. Good. Now, stay right here or start to turn your gaze behind you. So trying to find our balance as we get moving together this morning. Squeeze your left butt, stand up really straight. That's your standing leg, good. Now if you want, extend the right arm behind you. And then if you want, keep the right leg lifted. This is hard, extend your left arm forward, three. Good, engage your abs, you got it. If you fall out, come right back, two. <laughs> Exhale, bring it back, hands to heart. Ah, <sighs> Second side, left leg lifts. Good. Grab hold of your thigh. Give a nice grip there. Left arm comes around. Hold on to the low back. Boom. And that's going to help you turn your shoulder. So that's what's going to help me turn my gaze back. Now I want to make sure my right leg is really pushing down. I don't want to sink into it. Maybe my left arm reaches. Stay there. Maybe the right arm reaches. Three. Stand strong. Two. Come back to center, hands to heart. We're gonna repeat, we're gonna build, all right? Right knee rises. You're like, just what I wanted. <laughs> Grab the outside of the leg. Now raise the right arm up. We're going right into the twist with the arm back. Stay here. Or take your left hand. Grab hold of your foot, stay here. Or extend your leg, three. Good, keep twisting, two, exhale, come back through center, hands at heart, keep your leg lifted, keep your leg lifted, release, building to side two, let's go, lift, inhale, exhale, bring your hand outside of your leg, raise your left arm, big rotational movement, stay, grab the foot, option two, Option three, if you're ready, kick out, three. Definitely my tighter side, harder to get a straight leg. Two, revolve your spine, keep moving. 
Good, exhale, center. Knee stays up, knee stays up, hands to heart, hold it. Good, release. Raise the arms up. Now circle around, big circle. And then keep your hands right here on your low back, okay? Hold on to it as you open it up. Now slide the knuckles further down the butt. And then let's fold together. Three. Lovely shoulder stretch as long as you have the mobility. It might feel really tight and that's okay too. Two. Good. Chair pose. So let the hands release by sweeping the earth. Bend your knees. Good. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. Notice your breath. Sit back into your booty. Just tying up my shirt so it doesn't fall everywhere. Take another full inhale. Good. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen. Plank to chaturanga or just step to down dog, your choice. I'm going to take a lovely step to down dog. Knees are slightly bent. Pushing evenly into both hands, trying not to lean to one side. And then I invite you to raise your right leg up. Turn the hip open like we did before, but this time bend the knee. Good. Let your thighs shine open. Good work. Hold for three. Even arms, even weight, meaning try not to open up the right side. Two. Straighten right leg. Good. Exhale. Step to the outside of your right hand. Nice deep lizard pose. You're here for three. We're going to end up moving the right foot to the center of our mat. So stay here. Two. Now exhale. Pull your hips back some. Walk your right foot to the middle of the mat. Drop your back heel down. Inhale. Come up through reverse warrior. Right into it. Keep going. Keep going. Reach up with me. Good. And then land in side angle. So take your forearm to your thigh. Maybe you go deeper. Three. Good. Create space in the left ribs. Two. And then inhale this round. Come up through a straight leg. Reverse triangle. Good. Exhale triangle pose. So. Hand to shin if you need it, hand to outside or inside of foot. I'm going to go inside of foot. And then I like to keep my hand on my left ribs to help me roll open. And then once I feel ready, my left arm can extend. Three. Good. Work the side body stretch. Breathe into the left side. Breathe into the left ribs. Create more room. Two. And then when you're ready, this time we land in warrior two for the first time, okay? So bend your right knee forward with me. Land in warrior two. Gaze out over your right arm. Good. Take another deep inhale. And then you're going to gently reverse your warrior, so reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, and step to plank. Good. From plank, drop your knees. Tuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Same thing we did before. Interlace those fingers. Press your palms forward with me. Inhale. Open up the chest. Three. Headed to dolphin pose. Little bit of work. In two. Good. Exhale. Release. Forearms down. It looks just like down dog. Butt in the air. Just hold for three. Good. In and out breath. Lower the knees when you need to based on pain or not wanting to support your body here too. Now, option one, drop your knees down dog. Option two, walk your toes back, forearm plank. And then option three, high plank from there. Chaturanga if you want. Up dog, we meet in down dog. A lot of movement. Or no movement if you just went to down dog. Good. Now, left leg lifts. Externally rotate the hip like we did before. Turn it open. And then bend your knee. 
three. Good, lift your thigh. Two. Stay in it, keep lifting. Perfect, now straighten the leg, long leg. Good, exhale, step to the outside of your left hand. Just three breaths, okay? Three, keep your back knee lifted. Feel the opening in your left hip, two. Now, heel to your left foot to the middle of the mat. Drop down through your back heel. Reverse warrior, ready? Come up, keep coming, keep coming. Stretch back, oh yes. Good, exhale now. Come to side angle. So remember, land here or deeper. And I'm just gonna fix my feet a little bit. You might need to fix your feet too, depending on where you went with the pose. And just lengthen, three. Good, grow tall. Two. One more big stretch up. Come up through reverse triangle this time. So you're gonna let that left leg straighten. Take your left arm up. And then reach forward and down. Utita Trigonasana Triangle Pose. All right, now, if you're tight, this is hard, all right? So just work with your body here. Figure out your shapes, figure out what works. Three. Left leg, right leg, ideally are both straight. No tension building in the body. Two. Good. One more big inhale. You've got it. You're going to bend your left knee. Come up through reverse warrior one more time, please. Cartwheel your hands down to the mat. This time, step forward. Right foot meets left foot. Big step. Good, put your hands on your shins for a flat back, hold it right here, and now extend your arms back, airplane the arms. Draw your belly in for me so it's coming away from the ground, look slightly forward instead of down. Hold for three, keep lifting up through your belly, engage your butt, we're gonna stand up in two. Good, inhale, sweep forward to come up. Exhale, repeat the shoulder rinse, circle. Interlace fingers. Good, knuckles glide, heart opens. Exhale, hinge, fold, head drops, three. Good, release the low back, two. And then exhale, release your hands on one. Halfway lift the spine, nice and long. Exhale, step to down dog or flow, your choice. Again, giving you those options this morning to keep it a little bit less aggressive, or maybe you add the power, which is the vinyasa. Now, from down dog, I want you to exhale, take your time, and we're gonna shorten our stance. So step in on the right foot and the left foot so your heels go flat. Now bend your knees, and I'm gonna take my chest and my ribs to my thighs. And then I want your head to totally hang. Three. My heels are down. My booty's up. Two. Good. Exhale. Straighten the legs. Breathe. We're going to repeat that, okay? So take an inhale. You're in a shortened down dog. Good. Exhale. Keep your heels down. Bend your knees. Push deeper through your hands. Push back with your ribs. Let your head hang. Shake it out. Three. Almost done, two. Good, exhale, drop the knees, one. Now, watch my hips. Shimmy over to the left side of your mat with me, and I apologize, I tried to close the blinds for that sunbeam, but hopefully you can see me okay. So we shimmied over to the left side of our mat so that we have room here on the right, okay? You're gonna take your left leg, you're gonna wrap it behind your right leg, okay? And then you're gonna try to sit back between your feet in a pose called cow facing pose. Now, if this is really difficult, oh hello, you like cow facing pose? You can sit in a block, all right? But we look pretty good there. Yes, you do like this pose. Your pinky toes are pressing down, sit up straight. Good, okay. No lick, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Now take your left arm. You're going to twist to the right. Good. Hands to heart center. 
and cross. Stay up straight if you want to. No. Not saying no to you. Obviously saying no to the dog. <laughs> no. No. Good, sit up straight. And then we're gonna press forward onto our knees. One, two, three, bring it back. Unwind. Okay, now shimmy right, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay, so you got room on the left. Now take your right leg, ready, set, wrap it around the left leg, or wrap it behind, sorry, not around. And then have a seat. So now your left leg's on top. So it's a way to get into cow face pose that I find more simple than just sitting, and you might find so too. All right, just sit up straight, pinky toe edges of your feet are down, spine is long. Now take your right arm high, exhale, twist to your left, hands to heart center. Good, three. Revolve the spine here, two. And then on your next breath, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And our transition from here is very simple. Extend your legs forward. Whew. All right, legs are extended. All right, now we're gonna start wide. So widen your feet, the distance of your mat, okay? We're gonna reach up. We're gonna fold forward between the legs. All right, very simple, not extravagant, just a very gentle fold. I'm not even really trying, I'm just kind of rounding, okay? Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Good, now sit up straighter, lengthen. Bring your legs in halfway, so this is number two of three. All right, grab the booty, pull it away. Feet are still pretty narrow, all right, reach up. Exhale, you can go over the feet if you can grab them next to the feet or just hold the shins or lay your hands next to your legs. Now when you fold forward, you have the support of your thighs. Good, three. Two. One. Now sit up straight. Bring the legs all the way together, big toes touch. Grab the butt, pull it away again. All right, now sit up really, really, really tall. Draw abs in. See if you have even more room. Reach. Fold. So we made it harder by bringing the legs more narrow, but we've now performed this forward fold three times, which hopefully gives you a chance to release the low back. Good. Hang heavy. Three. Release the heart, two, and then slowly rise up on one. Perfect, right knee pulls into chest, cross it over left thigh. Use your left bicep, so pin your elbow, inside your elbow over the knee, and then give me a nice seated twist to the right. Just kind of revolve, gaze behind you. Let it be really passive, don't make it super intense. You know, in the evening for a practice, we can work the binds, we can do different things, but here really just trying to find that nice fluid movement. Good, shimmy forward. Not shimmy, but turn forward. Good, switch. Left foot in, cross. Right elbow makes a connection. Left arm. Three. Good, twist with me, drop the top left shoulder bone, two. And then exhale, rotate forward. Good, bend the knees, extend the arms, little bit of core, just a tiny bit. Lower down, three, two, one. Good, now that you're supported on your back, I want you to exhale we're gonna do a variation of a single leg bridge. So you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left thigh to start. Then we're gonna pull the left knee in. So first you're gonna stretch your hip in this way, okay? 
I'm also going to rock on my low back side to side because it feels good. Good. Now, I want you to keep your ankle crossed, bend your left knee, plant your foot with me. Flex your foot, place your hands down, bridge up on just your left leg. Three. Squeeze your glutes, lift, lift, lift. Two. Stay here, extend the right leg straight out. Hold it. Good, lower the butt, lower the right foot. Left ankle's gonna cross. Ready? Pull it in. Rock it out if you want to. Side to side. Good. Three. Find that nice range of movement. Two. And then when you're ready, ground the right foot. All right. Flex the left foot a lot. Push down through right foot a lot. Ready? Power up through right glute, hold it, three. Lift, two, hold it. Now stay, extend the left leg, hold. Knees are parallel, lower the butt, perfect. Lower both feet. Now push into both feet, bridge pose, raise your pelvis. Walk your shoulder blades underneath your back. If it feels good, palms up or down. Hands open or interlace, three. Squeeze your bum. Good. Lift your hips. Two. Exhale. Melt down. Bone by bone. Inch by inch. Place your hands on your thighs for traction. Push hands into thighs. Push feet down. And then exhale. Release hands. And then let knees go side to side. Good. Now, from here, we're going to hug just the right knee in. Left leg long. Exhale, straighten the right leg all the way up. So take a deep stretch for me. And then we're going to bring it into a spinal twist. So I'm going to bend my left knee, plant my foot so I can bump my hips. And then I'm going to re-extend my left leg. And then bring it over and across the body. Ooh, nice back crack there. Take your right arm straight up into the air. Good. Look over the left shoulder. Now bend your left elbow at 90 degrees. Roll your gaze right. Good. Repeat. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Look over left shoulder. Little bit of movement here. Exhale, bend the right elbow. Roll the gaze right. Last one, I promise. Inhale, reach. Good. Exhale. Bend the elbow. Turn the gaze to the right. Hold here. Three. Good. Two. And as you come back to center, hug the right knee in tight. Ha! Ah, left knee comes in tight. Okay. Switch. Right leg long. Pull your knee in tight. Good. Leg to sky. Exhale. Three. Flex your right foot. Lift your left leg. Two. And then on your next breath, you're going to bend your knee. I'm going to bend my right knee, plant my foot. Bump hips left. Extend right leg long. Rotate, bringing my knee across. All right, now take your left arm all the way up and over the head. Look to the right. Now bend your left elbow, pull it down, look left. Twice more. Reach. And pull. Last one. Take the left arm long. Good. Pull it down. Rotate. Three. Two and one. Come back to center. Good. Bring both knees in. Happy baby pose. Rock side to side. Good. 
Good. Close your eyes. Shavasana, rest. Legs long. Just be here for a short moment. Exhale, lay flat. Inhaling. And exhaling. Full breath in. Full breath out. Take your time very slowly. Bend your knees, plant your feet. Exhale to breathe out. Pull your knees in closely to your heart. And then bring yourself to seated. Good. Now sit up tall, hands to heart center when you're ready. Connect with this quieter energy that hopefully you gained through this movement. And I hope that you have a very wonderful rest of your morning and your day. Let's bow our heads forward. Namaste. Nice forward fold here. And beautiful job with your practice. Good work.